welcome back to my channel or if you're new hello and welcome my name is Megan sorry I'm standing awkwardly I don't have my tripod so you guys are propped up how I used to do it when I didn't have a tripod today's video I'm gonna take you guys to the gym with me and kind of catch you guys up on my training where I'm at how I'm feeling after coming back from vacation just all the things and I feel like it'll be a good quick little gym routine video just because I personally like to watch sometimes just singular workouts and I've seen that you guys kind of like that too like I know you guys love week of workouts but I know that these are sometimes helpful as well okay I'll give you guys like a little update so last Friday I deadlifted for the first time since being away and I definitely tweaked my back so that sucked and so when I went to the gym on Monday today's Wednesday by the way when I went to the gym on Monday I tried to squat and I could just feel that it didn't feel right so I didn't even do any squats I shifted my whole workout so this entire week has kind of just been a little discouraging and a little bit more doing what I can do not what I want to do which I know a lot of you guys can relate to that and understand that but that is kind of how I've been spending this week so today I'm gonna try to go to the gym and I'm gonna just see what I can do I'm kind of going into it planning to do a full body day because I'm also gonna be going out of town so I'm not gonna be training again for several days but that's kind of where I'm at so that's why today's workout is gonna be one that I've probably never really done on my channel but it's gonna be a full body day I'm kind of excited I kind of just feel like something different is needed in my routine so I think it's gonna be a good workout and I'm excited to take you guys through it and I've been a little bit bored with training so I feel like this can be a fun way to spice up my day so let me show you guys my outfit I haven't worn this color leggings for training in such a long time I did wear these on vacation but my bra is the everyday honor active sports bra in the color black super nice and it just has like a slight open back I was gonna wear the strappy bralette but it's very booby and I didn't want any trouble today if I'm gonna be doing full body so this one's higher coverage and then I'm wearing the what are these rosewood leggings from honor active very cute and you guys can't really tell maybe you can I washed my fig leggings with whites big mistake and this got a little bit dyed so my socks are kind of a smash but I don't really think anyone's gonna notice or care that's my look and as always my honor active link is always in the description box shopping directly through that supports me and tells the company who came for me so I appreciate it so so much and definitely stay tuned there is some new new coming for honor active that I'm very excited to share with you guys different stuff like new pieces pieces that I feel like I've been wanting from Honor so I'm very excited to show you guys that and I'll have a whole video on that when I go down to Blacksburg. I also got two more perfumes from Dossier. If you guys aren't familiar, Dossier is a perfume company. They basically make luxury scents at a fraction of the cost that you would pay to purchase, you know, like high-end perfumes, which is perfect for my girlies on a budget like myself and just for people who kind of want to try something but they don't want to pay hundreds of dollars and then commit to it. So it's kind of nice. You can try a bunch of different things. I like the sizes of the bottles because it definitely lasts a long time. Like I've had some of these for months now and like I haven't used them all, but I use them every single day. This has been my go to at the moment it's gourmand white flowers and then I had a phase with floral marshmallow as well so these are like my top two ones that I have tried and this is the one that I've been using the most but I got two more that I'm excited to test out this first one is floral violet it says that the top notes are watermelon and strawberry let's test her out I have to let it air out these are nice and strong as well like I wear these to the gym because they're so fragrant I really like this. This is definitely giving springtime, like very vibrant springtime. Also, I just wanted to note, if you guys don't end up liking the smell when it comes in, you are able to do a return. And then I also got another floral marshmallow. I went crazy with this scent. It is so good. I don't even know how to explain it. It just, it definitely smells sweet. It's really nice. So I wanted to get another one because I knew that I would want to use it. If you guys are looking to try some new perfumes, definitely check out Dossier. I have a link with them and my code is Megan Bungato 5 I believe. And that'll get you guys a little discount as well now that I smell good we can get ready to leave for the gym I'm gonna be wearing the timeless jacket I'm obsessed with these jackets it's definitely starting to get warmer where I live so that's really nice I'm very excited for that weather just gonna grab my water pack up my gym bag and then we'll be en route to the gym Alrighty, I'm getting ready to head to the gym now oh Please, Ariana, what are you doing here? I'm excited to take you guys to the gym. I feel like the motivation I need is taking you guys with me because I'm not gonna lie, my motivation has kind of sucked since coming back. I think a really big reason for it is because when you take a lot of time off, you feel weak. And I'm not gonna say I'm not used to feeling weak because I definitely am used to feeling weak, but I'm not used to feeling super unacclimated to my own training regimen, if that makes sense. Like I have always been able to train four to five days a week, high volume, all around, and never had a problem 
problem with it and I feel like coming back I had to remind myself maybe I need to ease into this and I can't just go back to my normal volume and think that my body's gonna be there too I think that I went back thinking my body was gonna be there too and it wasn't so I just want to remind you guys it's better to ease into something than to come back full force and then hurt yourself or just not feel your best or get discouraged and also remember that fitness is never linear we're never always at our best we're never always at our peak and I feel like I'm definitely in a little down phase and I'm just trying to figure out how I'm gonna deal with it because this is definitely a busy year for me I'm so fortunate and excited that I have another big trip coming up in July I have weeks off for like the beach with my friends so like I have a lot of trips planned and I'm very excited about those trips but now I really need to figure out how I'm going to work my training routine around that because you know I'm always telling you guys you guys need a program you need to stick with it all that kind of stuff but it's like my life is getting interrupted every six weeks I can't even run a six-week program so I'm right here with you guys I'm gonna try to figure out for myself and take you guys along as I figure it out for myself I think the best thing that I'm gonna do in the time being is really just get back on my consistency get my body reacclimated to working out trying to stay consistent and then once I feel like I'm back in a consistent phase and feeling like I have my volume there then I might try to implement a four-week program just because like like I said every single month is busy yeah I hear you guys I'm with you guys and I totally understand where you're coming from if you guys also have schedules that keep interrupting the gym the best thing that we can do is just continue to go and try our best and work hard and that's really all that matters and that is going to accumulate to long-term goals so don't think just because your program keeps getting interrupted that it's not working it's just that you have to adhere and get right back on track as soon as you can and show up when you can at the capacity that you can do that day and that's another thing I wanted to say don't compare yourself to what you used to be able to do compare yourself to how you feel this day and what you think you can do that day and don't think just because you can't do what you used to be able to do means that you've lost all your progress you haven't you're just in a different place in that moment in time our stress our sleep consistency our diet there's so much that goes into how we feel each day and I actually feel good today so I'm really hoping it's a good workout and I'm very excited to take you guys through it and let's just go to the gym because I'm stalling and it's time to go Starting off, we're going to be doing an inverted row, so I like to use a squat rack, place the bar at a height where I can get this full range of motion, then I keep my heels on the floor, have a slight bend in my knee, which you guys can't really see here, and then I have my arms at a wide width, kind of like what you would do on the lat pull down, and then I do as many pull-ups as I can like that, but I really can't do many. You guys can also just do assisted pull-ups, then I go straight into these gorilla rows. Like I mentioned, it is a superset, so for these movements, you're going to do them back to back with no rest, and then that counts as one set. In terms of form here, you want to have a wide sumo stance, a slight bend in the knee. I probably can bend more in my knee and then you want your back to kind of remain flat there as you're pulling up. You want to keep your torso and chest stable so that you're not flying all around. It should be a very controlled looking movement. After performing all arounds of that superset, then we're moving into this next superset. This one is going to be lower body focused specifically on our hamstrings. So I'm starting off with a single leg hamstring curl. This machine at my gym is super nice and fancy, but but if you don't have one like this and you either have the lying leg machine or the seated leg curl machine, those are both perfect. Just do them unilaterally. So only do one leg at a time. And right after these, we're going to jump right into another hamstring movement, which is our B stance RDLs. On this day, we're going to be kind of lowering the load. We're not going to go as heavy, but we are doing more reps. So really focus on the quality of each rep and your hip hinge, making sure to get a good stretch on the hammies. And after performing the one set and then doing these under fatigue, it's going to be be a nice way to challenge the hamstrings a little bit. For the movement pattern itself, you want to obviously have this staggered stance and the working leg is the one that is in the front with the side of the dumbbell. And also think about if someone were pulling back your hips and then you were pushing them back forward. Now we're going into my favorite complex ever. I literally do this in every single leg day video. I'm so sorry, but this is my favorite way to work the quads and give them a good challenge. I'm going to be doing eight single leg quad extensions on one leg. Then I'm switching legs and I'm going to do eight single leg quad extensions on that leg. Then I'm going to add some weight and then I'm going to go straight into eight more quad extensions, but then using both legs. This is a way that I randomly created. I think I call it crazy eights, at least to myself, and I really enjoy it. It's really challenging for me and I feel like it's more challenging than just doing straight sets of a four by 10. Another method I like to do is doing just as many reps as possible or high rep ranges so you guys can kind of decide what's best, but I like that this is a mix of both unilateral and both legs. Now our next super set is going to focus on the delt slash shoulders and I'm sorry about the crop video. I literally look back at the sideways footage that I took and it's literally my butt. 
<laughs> like you can't even see my arms. So I was like, okay, that's not going to work. This machine is super fun at my gym. It's a lateral raise machine, but you guys can absolutely just do normal lateral raises using dumbbells or even using the cable machine. But right after doing lateral raises, we're going to go straight into face pulls. If you're doing these at your gym and you don't have a machine like that or your machines are farther away, I'd recommend just bringing the lateral raise weight dumbbells right to the cable machine and then you can do both simultaneously there. I personally like to do these seated to avoid any lower body recruitment when I'm standing. I just find it to be more comfortable. I like to pull towards my forehead. I like the cable attachment a little bit higher and you want to pull your arms out and think about making them come straight out from your shoulders. Then we're going into our last superset of the day. This one is antagonist muscles. So we're doing our triceps and our biceps together. So we're starting off with tricep cable extensions. If there's one tip that I want to you guys to carry with you for the rest of your life with these, it's glue your elbows to your side and really control that range of motion, getting full extension at the bottom where the triceps are going to be the most heavily recruited. You guys can also do these with the straight bar if you prefer, but I honestly feel like the cables give me a better range of motion. Then I'm sliding that attachment down all the way to the bottom and going straight into some bicep curls with the rope cable attachment. Same thing goes here. You want to get the full range of motion, so make sure that your arms go all the way straight before initiating your next rep. But for bicep curls, your arms are actually going to activate the biceps the most in the crunched position. So in the shortened position there where you're curling all the way up is where your biceps are most recruited. And that finishes off today's workout. I really hope you guys enjoyed this full body slay, and I definitely think I'll be implementing this more in my routine in the future. Okay, it actually ended up being such a good workout. The gym was actually quite crowded though, so I only filmed one set of each thing. Hopefully the videos are okay. I just wanted to explain to you guys like what I did so that you guys can know what's targeting what and things like that. So I ended up opting for full body and I aimed to do different supersets or complexes so that the workout could be accelerated. I could challenge myself a little bit harder and then I was able to challenge myself more with intensity with supersetting, but I kept the weights relatively low because like I mentioned my lower back was in pain so I didn't want to do anything to bother that or perpetuate that. For supersets I did do a little bit of a lighter weight or just a typical moderate weight alongside 6 to 12 rep ranges. So I think I did four supersets and one complex which is the complex I always do for quad extensions which is single leg, single leg into both legs. That was really a good workout and I'm very happy that I went and I'm happy that I could film it for you guys so that if you guys want to try it you can. I would recommend this workout for anyone who wants a full body day, who wants something a little bit low weight wise and just higher intensity wise people who like supersets want something new want something full body weren't able to maybe train as many days in a week and want to put a bunch of muscle groups together I highly recommend the main muscle groups I didn't really hit would be calves and chest but I did hit pretty much everywhere else and the core as well is something that I didn't hit but I hope you guys enjoyed this video I know it was a little shorter and sweeter but sometimes it's what people prefer and I know that having just one workout to look back at is very nice for people when they want to save a workout routine and then perform it at the gym. If you guys do this workout, please let me know. I love you guys and I will see you guys in so many future videos. I have a lot of fitness ones that I want to get up. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!